After seven long and difficult months, something wonderful has happened in the Go community. Gorilla Mux, along with the entire Gorilla Toolkit, has been revived. A new group of core maintainers has taken on the responsibility of maintaining the project. As of the time of recording, the project is currently going through a transition phase, where the new maintainers are taking it over. They had intended to announce the news once the transition was complete, but it seems as though some beady-eyed Go developers were quick to notice activity taking place. And therefore, the proverbial cat was let out of the bag, according to the blog post. The new maintainers are hopeful to have the transition finished by the end of the month, which is probably the time this video will go live. However, as with anything in our modern era, this hasn't come without some sort of controversy, with one individual claiming on Reddit that it appeared that Red Hat was taking over the project. If you're unaware, Red Hat has been very much criticised recently for what the Software Freedom Conservancy considers as violations of the GPL. But that's another story. Either way, the idea of Red Hat's involvement concerned some individuals online. The new maintainers were quick to respond, explaining that whilst they worked at Red Hat, there was no official involvement from their employer, and Gorilla Mux would remain independent of the company. Whether or not that's the case, only time will tell. I do believe that the benefit of the doubt should be given, however. As for the actual transition itself, well, we've seen a new improved version of the Gorilla Toolkit website, which now has a blog, and the first blog post is referencing the transition itself. And whilst not everything is working perfectly yet, it really does feel good to have some new life breathed into the project, even if it's just a bit of paint here and there. So what's next? Well, I did a video on Gorilla being archived a few months back, and in that video I looked at some other options. For myself, I had started using Qi as my main HTTP router in Go, but I'll probably consider going back to Gorilla Mux for any new projects in the future. Or will I? In the time that Gorilla Mux was archived, something interesting happened. In my video, I called out the fact that the Go standard library didn't have a good HTTP router, with the only option being the HTTP serve Mux, which really kind of sucks. I also mentioned that I'd love to see some of the features of Gorilla Mux make it into the Go standard library. Well, it appears somebody else felt the same way I did. And on May 16, 2023, a discussion was opened up on the Golang GitHub repo. This discussion sought to bring new functionality to the routing capabilities of the standard library of Go, by adding both HTTP method-based routing, such as get, post, put, etc., and path variables to the serve mux patterns. Both of these are something that the standard library is absolutely missing, and I'd argue is the core reason that developers move towards Gorilla Mux or other solutions. The discussion post itself is incredibly comprehensive and worthwhile of a read. The author, Jonathan Amsterdam, puts forward some decent examples and goes into depth about how this would affect path precedence. Jonathan also provides a reference implementation called Mux Patterns to both test the performance and user experience, and to also present his ideas in code. The discussion has been received pretty well, and it's rather lively, with over 119 replies and the majority of commenters pretty much in support. This has led to an official proposal being created about one week before the filming of this video. The discussion has now moved to this proposal page, and the idea is under active review, as mentioned by Russ Cox, who happens to be the BDFL for Golang. BDFL stands for Benevolent Dictator for Life, which is a bit of a phenomenon when it comes to programming languages. If you want to know more about BDFLs, then let me know in the comments down below. All in all, this proposal looks pretty promising and I think it means we're going to be seeing HTTP routing come to the Go standard library very soon. I actually put together a quick server using the reference implementation, and it was pretty easy to use. It still needs some work, but ultimately it's rather viable. Personally, I'm pretty excited about this change. I'm also interested to see how much this affects the existing HTTP routers. One thing's for certain, the standard library of Go has been desperate for a proposal like this. And given that Go is primarily used in web applications, it always felt off that it didn't even have what I would consider a minimum viable router. If and when this proposal goes through, I'll likely do another video comparing it to some of the existing implementations out there. Until then, however, I will probably remain with Gorilla Mux. But I'm interested to know what you think. Are you happy that Gorilla Mux has come back, or are you perhaps more excited for what's coming around the corner?
Either way, please let me know in the comments down below. I also want to give a big shout out to my new channel members, Chocolita and Henri Kaski. Thank you so much for supporting me and the channel. I really appreciate it and it enables me to do a lot more in the future. A big thank you to everyone else for watching and I'll see you on the next one.